Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of EO4 as Congo, where Russia decided to jump the gun and ruin everything for us. So we'll see what we can do here. We did set all of these stuff, this stuff as our do you want land. Maybe they'll be generous. You never know. They are marching on the Iberian Shelf, so are we. Hopefully we'll have a naval battle here. Because this is a, certainly a fleet we can sink. He decided to stop. Okay, for the epic. Yeah, you... No, you're going this way. Are you locked? The Turkish Navy is not locked. Thirty-first, we'd sail on the first if I decide to just stay there. He is still coming this way. Good. That's at least one fleet we can kill. Here though, here comes the problem. Yeah, the Ottomans are gonna come up in force and they're gonna meet me and the we already know that Russians never, ever go past the mountain forts. So, yeah, we're in for a world of hurt here. We're gonna have to just try to see what we can eke out here. I really would like to just create a re regiment here just to take this blasted province because that's the war goal that I don't think the Russians are actually gonna siege it down ever. Thank God we got a naval battle, and that's a major fleet. No, not that major. You know what? All the ships we have go up there. We need to stay together on this. They actually have a tr pretty darn tr big transport fleet. They might actually do anything here. Do something there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't have a general, uh, an admiral though, they do. Now that you occupations. You are just sieging down for now, going to Casa, yeah. If I'm lucky I can siege this one down before the Ottomans can do much over there. Um, Let's try to advance a little bit. Bit risky. Oh boy, now they have numerical superiority. But we have heavy, heavy war galleons. We should be able to kill merchantmen. He has very few war galleons. Ton of heavy frigates though. But look at him, he's just murdering my galleons. How strong are you? 2 1 1. Should have given my guys here a general. Uh, you don't go there. An admiral, I mean. Recruit him. Let's see what we can do here. Try to occupy territory down here. I don't see Lithuania ever losing war score, especially as long as. Uh, Russia seems to be focused on the Ottomans. And the Ottomans seem focused on me. And the Spains don't, Spaniards don't seem focused on anything, which is fine by me. If I can actually ma manage to siege all of that stuff and leave a pretty sizable garrison at, at the river cross. Actually, they can they cross if I hold one side of the straits? I don't think they can. We'll see. 27th, you'll arrive. Uh, 27th, get that guy aboard. Woohoo! One maneuver! Woohoo! That's a strong one. Strongest admiral ever. And yeah, they are coming in in force. And I can't fight them with just one army over there. So, we're going to have to recruit a new one. 
Let's see. We need 18 to 8. Army template. Army. Save. Build. It's gonna take you, like, several months to build, but... Do it! I probably instead want to get an actual meat shield or something. Up here. Try to build it there. I don't think I want to dare build it any else. Closer. There we go, two meat shields. Try to see if we can get enough troops to just hold them off there. Uh, Kabilia gets... Who cares? Come on, little fleet. Get there. I don't like this. How I'm losing ships like crazy. I mean, he only has... They shouldn't be anywhere near as strong. Even if he has, has numbers on his side. I'm gonna build more heavies too. This is. I'm gonna have to. I don't care how they care about the cost. I just. Eh, not two. That's too many. There we go. Build ships. We're definitely gonna. Lose a ton of ships here. If we can't even deal with one of his armies, one of his navies, there's no way we can deal with everything here. Mm. As for the area over here, we're still rebuilding the forces. We can't really get out there in force. No, he's trying. He's landing in Kurukura Rua. Well, that's good. You're landing your troops there. That is exactly what you should be doing. Here we go. I'm going to send my three troops over there, too. I'm going to send the rest of the army as they finish. The problem is that the Ottomans just lost the war, so they are in resurgent mode. Which is terrible. For us. Those two forts should be a pain for him to siege, though. Are you seriously landing troops here? No, that's just the fleets cruising by. And here comes the French fleet. And that is worse. That is considerably worse. You're gonna arrive on the 21st. And what really buys is that I don't seem to be doing much damage at Tradim at all. I have already lost quite a few heavies. I have 30, now I'm on to 18, and he still hasn't lost ships. Just. Mm, this is just insane. His transports are bloody winning this war. Fine. We have to flee. Oh, yeah. You know what? You lost all the ships. 28. <laughs> Good god. Uh. Yeah, I... When the French arrived there, that would, that would have been devastating, so I couldn't fight anymore. That was just too much. I'm going to retreat, I'm going to rebuild, come back, pretty much our only hope. Willing to take out loans at this point, just to... Yeah. You see, Russia, I would love to fight this, but not all three of them at once. I mean, Castile, Ottomans, France, yes, fine, not all three at once. What's next? Are you going to... Oh. Well, that explains where their army went. 
the French army decide to go and kill Nuremberg. And they're gonna sit there for a long time. And it's 80,000 French troops. That's, that is their entire French army. Well, that's good news. So at least we don't have to fight the French. They're gonna fight Nuremberg for a very long time. And the Ottoman, the Ottomans, the Russians are almost waiting to siege down the war goal. Almost. Meanwhile, the Turk is definitely focusing on me. Yeah. Well, see what we can do. And I have no idea what the Span Spanish are doing. But they aren't anywhere near me, so... If they are just trying to do naval stuff, then we are... Then we are in good shape, actually. Because I don't think there are that many areas they can uh, uh, truly invade. We'll see. This one will be a very slow grind. He's not sieging yet. We're gonna have to wait until he does. Here, I'm gonna just go because it doesn't look like it's actually gonna... That's a mountainous force, though. Uh, that's a bit of a risk to go into unless we're fairly certain he doesn't have forces here. But he hasn't moved in yet. You know what? I'm... No. Don't take the risk. Not until this fort falls. Then we can move into the next. Need to be somewhat cautious. Our forces there are on the way. If we were in control of this war, I wouldn't feel so bad, but I wouldn't feel so scared. Because I am scared. Quite a lot. Because this is not a small war. The meat shields are coming together at the very least. Wait, we have three missionaries now? Where did the third one come from? I mean, you have two there, hmm? Or is it because, oh, of course, we took oil on here, so that counts as... <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, can I cancel his missionary by being in the province? I mean, I hold this province, can I say, you can't missioner here, you can't create unrest. No, I can't. Oh well. Uh, okay, so Lithuania decided to peace out on the odd one side. That's unfortunate, that's gonna mean more forces beelining for Russia. Russia lost their little battle there. And the Ottomans seem very focused on sending their entire army to me. Okay, you can actually march through here now. Good. Get that fort. If we can just secure North Africa there, it would be pretty darn glorious. Uh, why aren't you marching anywhere? There we go. I'm starting to wonder. The Ottoman 60,000 troops here now. Good chunk of them marching on Sinai. If I could just get this fort to fall first, I would happily try to kick you out of there. So at least we learn that our war galleons are absolute shite at this point. That is very sad, but whoa, every, there they come. There they come in force. And that's a mountainous fort. Castile will get crossing penalty. I need a general here ASAP. That's gonna be you if I 
could, but I can't. Um, yeah, and you can't. So why can he move through here? But not me. Ah. Me chilled. Me chilled time. Because we know he's gonna kill us. I mean, that's just what the AI does. Even with a crossing penalty. Everything else. Yes, I'm salty. I admit it. If only the Ottomans, or the Ottomans, only Russia would take the war goal and not be stupid. But they are stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Incredibly stupid. And there's the bulk of the, their army. On the bright side, it looks like the most of their army is actually heading for Russia. And the siege finished. Good. Everybody get in there. Actually, not you. You're going to siege. But you. I'm going to go there. Here's the good thing. We might be able to take out quite a lot of Spain. If they send their forces up here instead of defending their territory, which they seem to be doing right now. And then I just need enough forces here to hold off the Ottomans. <laughs> which is actually... Uh, not easy, but wait a second, they're retreating. Good. Good. Oh, good lord, come on. June 2nd, can you actually hold out that long? Yes. Minus two, minus one. He shouldn't be this strong, come on. At least we fin- Oh, right, I completely forgot about that one. Uh, naval race versus Castile. 113 ships. We are building quite a few, but... Yeah, why the heck not? Good lord, you're gonna win just before my army is arrived, don't you? One, two... Please tell me the army arrived before Oh, they did. Thank goodness. And all these mercs, go! Up here we have sieged more land. Good, good, good. The Ottomans do have a significant army there, but eventually we'll deal with that. It's going to take a long time though. Uh, fleet. Yeah, you just repair. As best as you can. In the south here. You've taken down the good, you're seated down the capital there. That's also a capital fort. When you are hunting them down. You know what, I'm gonna tell my colonials to just do what you think is best. Yeah, I'm gonna do that with all of them. All of you just be AIs. Be stupid, that's fine. I do believe we got a force over here, and yeah, let's go help the AI with that. The Ottomans, still darn strong. Uh, I could hope that Austria decides to, like, intervene and destroy this side. It would have been interesting. They're even willing to become quite friendly with us at this point. So yeah, you know what, if this war fans out, at least I can intervene. Uh, eventually with Austria, maybe. You're not actually sieging, are you? No, you're not. And these are level 2 forts, so they'll fall pretty darn fast if you actually did so. So you can knock out Lithuania rather quickly. So, okay, it's us versus 
Yeah, Pomerania and Nuremberg, they're not gonna do much. I'm sorry. They're just not gonna be much help. Out here... We have a few uh, islands that are kind of kind of dangerous. How are we doing in terms of war exhaustion? Not a problem yet. Um, yeah, we need to start coring the last few provinces. Not, not Bizerte, it's one of these. 99 and 220. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. That's a spicy meatball. And that's a Christmas carol. Did I? Oh, you didn't drive yet. Even with reinforcements, this guy is kicking our ass. And we have the same amount of discipline. He has the decisive dis... Ah, he has four fire though. I suppose that's why he kills us all the time. I'm trying to get more troops in. We don't... Much left though. And we do have cannons in the front. Why can't the infantry move in? Oh. That's bad. That's bad. You need to move faster, buddy. Uh, you're gonna arrive on the 17th. You're gonna be. Stop. Force march. Go, go, go. Go soon. You need to get there. The meat shields are assembling. So are the extra stacks down there. Good, good, good. 63,000 troops. We can beat that back once all of that stuff is recruited. Now it's just a matter of beating this. All of you should be moving straight for the province there. They can just wait. Yes, yes, yes. Ha 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 ha. He fled. Excellent. You're gonna go there and just stop advancing. Um. Fantastic. So let's take the next level of provinces. Oof. My goodness, we got through that. And we won the battle down here as well. Excellent. They're now retreating. Um, that's just a fleet, yes. Please do things down here. Give us war score because we desperately need it. Since the Russians aren't taking the war goal as normal. And you are going to deactivate Force March. But you are going to sit right there. In the mountains. The Mercs group up. Perfecto. He's marching away. Okay, that's fine. Uh, which, uh, that's over here. Okay, we are good. At least now the numbers are starting to be a bit more even, but they need to take the darn war goal! Because there's no way we can knock all of these guys out without that. Nuremberg is still being sieged. That's not gonna fall for a long time. And <laughs> level 9 forts, 
they are also going to last for a very long time. That's good. That's going to delay them for quite a long time. Very nice. But meanwhile, we are level 4 forts here. Granada is level 2 forts, so if we can actually cross here, that's not going to be a problem at all. But of course, we are going to have to cross, and that means we're going to need a navy. Which we're trying to get. I suppose once our navy is fully repaired, we might just set sail again. Though he took, he took out quite a lot of our war galleons. I don't like that at all. I mean, look at this. They are now by far... They have far the superior navy. Russians have almost nothing. So the naval battle is not in our favor. Naval... Naval war. Bohemia City, England. What are you involved in? Thüringen versus... Okay. Thüringen versus Bergen. Not sure why the heck you're involved in that, but okay. So, Russia. You are still trying to see down this one at the very least. And you did manage to take one fort here, I think. Yes, good for you. You actually took one level two fort. Fantastic. Not the war goal, though. Why would you take the war goal? That would be stupid. Let's just run around and kill armies instead. Yes, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna harp on that for so long. Right, Taranaki. That's down here. And you took out his fleet. Good for you. Uh, we're gonna land more troops on board the ships here. Set sail. That's a Spanish armada indeed. Uh, they were really dangerous last time. I'm not sure if I wanna go and mess with them. Especially not with that kind of force lurking nearby. Yeah, this is gonna be one heck of a war. I wonder what our AI friends here are gonna do. You have actually started occupying that. That could be interesting. Because there at least that gives us a chance to counterattack, which is what I was hoping for. If only this fort will fall. I took that province. Good. We have not seen them march across. This one should fall fairly quickly. It is a mountains though, and that's kinda bad. And that's also over here. 39 points, we should be able to core. No, not, not yet. 99 points. We need to save up to 229 points and just get that out of the way. Because it's giving us quite a lot of corruption. If this fort falls before my does, this one does, I'm going to be pissed. And this army is actually done. Excellent. Meat shield over here is complete. You know what, Austria? Why can't you just, like, pay my debts or something? Would be nice. Okay, let's move up. Even more mercs. Get up there. I mean, if you're willing to pay other people's debts, why not mine? My debts cost, cost just as much, if not more. <laughs> uh. So a couple of things. We are pretty certain they're not going to help anyone overseas. The French Louisiana forces, they're going to stock there. French Mexican forces don't seem to do anything. New Granada, etc. aren't doing much of anything either. 
which is fine by me. And it looks like he's very much focused on getting this stuff down first. Unfortunately, that fort is starting to fall. And once the French army is unleashed, I'm much less confident in our ability to win this darn thing. Especially if they don't see the darn war goal. Did you finish your seat down there at the very least? You did. Good for you. But I don't think there's going to be any chance of uh, the Ottomans bowing out soon. Actually, they're 34 and that's the same as Lithu Lithuania. France, of course, is way above. Castile is way above. Um, Poland, is, Poland is not in this. Okay, I thought Poland was in this. Okay. That's something, at least. So that's a, I guess that's a silver lining. At any rate, I think it's time for another short break. Thank you for watching.